Erica Brown is joyful, loving, kind, competitive, relentless in her beliefs. She's got tremendous courage to, to stand apart from other people, and I think that's one reason why she's been so successful. Erica Brown in Tennessee! It's Erica Brown! the second woman ever to break 46, Erica Brown of Tennessee. Coming out of high school and coming to Tennessee, I was really searching for something exciting, success in swimming, and really just a new start. Junior year of high school, I really started to lose my passion for the sport, and I was just really struggling in the water. I really wasn't swimming the way I'd hoped I would. So I think I kind of brought that to college my freshman year and continued to struggle. The drive and the passion were probably always there. Freshman year though, I think that that was maybe buried and obscured by a number of other things that were going on. Normal freshman adjustment issues and may maybe some personal doubts that didn't really allow that drive to bubble up and come through and, and show. I really missed my family. Uh, I felt alone. I didn't really let myself in and get to know everyone and give myself to everyone as I should have. Then I also wasn't swimming well, so it was kind of just a mixture of emotions that really affected all parts of my life. But the summer following my freshman year, I was trying to figure out, is swimming what I want to do with the rest of my collegiate career? Did I want to come back to Tennessee? The struggle of answering those questions led to a, a real decisive set of answers for her. I decided that it's definitely something I didn't want to give up, and I wanted to come back and give everything I had to my teammates and um, be the best teammate I could. Once those were in place, I think it gave her the freedom to just take off. Erica Brown in lane number four for Tennessee. The sophomore from Charlotte touches in a time of 47-17. Walking back on deck my sophomore year, I, I kind of just had the attitude of, I'm gonna give this everything I've got. You could really see this intensity that allowed her to get better really quickly. It is Brown at 21, one, five. That is a new NCAA record. After the success I had my sophomore year, it definitely propelled me into the next year and then the next year. She never stopped looking for new ways to get better and she's still doing the same. And I think what drives that is just, is this competitive fire and desire to make the most of the opportunity she has. Coming into practice every day and training with my teammates and putting energy into them and receiving that back has really created an attitude of gratitude for me. Some days it's really hard and when you have a group of 30 girls pushing you and just motivating you to be your best every single day, it really makes it a lot easier winning their first ever women's SEC title, the University of Tennessee. We really set high standards here. So we create this mindset that we want to be champions. We don't allow negativity. And I think that's a huge part of continuing to better yourself and your teammates every day. Her confidence really lies within her, her love for the team and, and her desire to be great for the team. I came in here just wanted to get my hand on the wall first. I wanted to score points for my team. That's all what it's all about. The goal was to get my hand on the wall first. I want to score those points for my team. My senior year, I felt like this is my last chance to give everything I have to this team. So every meet, I'm going to get better. We set these goals. How am I going to give the most I can to reach that goal? So I think that's what really motivated me and helped me throughout the whole season. This is my last shot to give everything I have to them. What she does in the pool doesn't necessarily surprise me anymore, but I, tr I am amazed because she does things better than just about anybody else. And I have a tremendous appreciation that what I'm seeing is extraordinary. Having Matt as my coach has been 
a huge reason in my success here. He truly cares about you as a person and an athlete. Knowing that Matt believes in me and knowing that he wants to push me as much as I want to push myself has really helped me through this whole experience. So huge credits to Matt. He's been an awesome coach. When I look back at my success at Tennessee, I think so much more about my teammates and the joy of training with them and the growth that we've had over my four years. It's so much more than just some titles. Um, I've really created the best relationships and the best memories with these girls over the past years. Erica has given a great gift to our program, and that is to essentially be an example of what's possible. She did not come in as an American record holder. She didn't come in as, as somebody that necessarily looked like she could be one of the best swimmers that's, that's ever competed in the world. But because of what she did, the way she approached her craft and the way she approached the team, she really exemplified what we believe being a Lady Vol is all about and showed that truly anything is possible.